Hello students, our life is surrounded by numbers. See for example, the marks, the runs you scored and your height, weight, everything is nothing but numbers which in turn are data. In our previous classes, we have studied uh, how to uh, collect the data, various kinds of data and how to tabulate it and represent it in the form of bar graphs. So, in this chapter data handling, we are going to learn the continued part of that. That is how to represent the given data and what is the representation value for that data. So, students we know how to collect the data and after collecting the data, we have to organize it how accordingly we need the information. So, students the representation value is nothing but all the data are not same. There will be different data. So, different data needs different representation value. So, let us learn what are the different types of representation value for the data. The first one is average or mean or arithmetic mean. Students, when, the, when you have tests or exams, you will be getting marks for all your subjects. So, what you will do, you will find the average of the marks that you have got in all the subjects. So, students, when you find the average, what you are going to do? You are going to add all the subject marks and divide it by the number of subjects. Even here, average is nothing but sum of all the observations. So, if you have 6 subjects, you will be having 6 marks and you are going to divide it by 6 to get the average. So, students, average is nothing but sum of all observation by number of observation. Say, you have got um, 30 in maths and uh, 15 in English and 70 in science and uh, 18 in social and 20 in Hindi and uh, 15 in Kannada. How many subjects are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 6. Ok students, what is the value you are going to get here? 30 plus 15 is 45. 45 plus 17 is uh, 55 plus 7. So that is 62. 62 plus 18 is uh, 70, 80. 80 plus 20 is 100. 100, 10, 10 and 115. So 115 divided by 6. So 6 ones are 6 and 5 is the mean here. So 6 nines are 54. 1 million. Ok students. So the average marks for the student is 90.1. These marks are out of, out of 30. These marks are out of 30. So he has scored 19.1. The average of the student is 19.1. So the next um, representation value of the data will be range. Range is nothing but highest value minus lowest value in the given observation of data. So, what is the given data? If the data, let it be heard, the same marks of the student. So, if we have to find the range of the marks, what we are going to do is, we, have to go, we are going to take the highest value and lowest value difference. So, here we know that highest value is 30 and lowest value here is 15. So, the range will be Okay students, so students, let us solve some problems related to arithmetic mean and range. So in exercise 3.1, the first question we have asked, find the range of heights of any 10 students of your class. So if you know the 10 students height, please uh, write it down and find the arithmetic mean of the 10 students. What you have to do is, you have to collect heights of 10 students, your friends uh, heights and divided by 10. 
to get the arithmetic mean of your uh, classmates. Okay, students. So let us solve the next one. Organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. So given here there is the class assessment for uh, the students, and we have to arrange it in the form uh, tabular form and answer these questions. So the questions are which number is the highest, which number is the lowest. What is the range of the data and find the arithmetic mean? So we know how to tabulate, uh, ta uh, how to represent data in tabular form. That is, these are the class assessment. That is nothing but the marks. So this is the first column here. Marks. And the now marks might repeat. So we are going to take Tally, you know, tally bars, that is nothing but sequence. Okay. So, what is the lowest marks in this? When we see here, the lowest marks is 1. How many times it has been repeated? Only 1. So, tally 1. Sequence is also 1. 2. Next, 2 is repeated, not repeated, it is only present one time. So, tally is also one, frequency is also one. Number three is also being given once only. Four is being repeated three times here. One, two, three. So, four is repeated three times. So, frequency is three. And five is one, two, three, four, five. Five is repeated five times. So one, two, three, four, and five. What about six? Yeah, six is also there. One, two, three, and four. Six is repeated four times. What about seven? Seven is also repeated. One, two. And eight. Eight is here once. The next one is nine. Nine is also there. Ten is not there. All the single digit numbers over here. Nine is repeated once. Now what is the frequency here? That is, we have to add all these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus five, eleven. Eleven plus four is 11 plus 4 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One more is missing. Which will take students? 5, 4, 5, 2, 5, 1, 9, 6, 5, 8, 4, 6, 7. So students, as we see here, Two is repeated twice here. So here this will be two. So as we uh, know that uh, when we count here, what are the marks? How many students' marks are here? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Given here, the frequency should also be giving us the value 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 2, 18, 19, 20. Given frequency should also be 20. Because these are the marks that we have selected from the given data and we have written. This and the given data value should match. Now, which number is the highest? As we see in this column, 9 is the highest number. So it is 9. Which is the lowest number? That is 1. What is the range of the data? Now we know that range is nothing but highest value minus lowest value. So the range will be equal to highest value is 9 minus 1 which will give us 8. So the range of the given uh, class assessment is 8. Okay, students, find arithmetic mean. We have to find the arithmetic mean of the given data. So, arithmetic mean AM is nothing but sum of all observation divided by number of 
observation. Number of observation. So, what is the sum of all observation divided by number of observation? We have to add all those. Uh, we have to add all these marks and divide it by 20 because we know frequency, the number of uh, students marks. Number of students uh, took the class student was 20 students. So number of observation is 20. And we have to add all these frequencies. So we can write here 4 plus 6 plus 7, 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6 plus 7. So let us add this here. I'll erase this part. So students, when we add all these marks of a given uh, a class assessment, we are going to get 100. The total sum is 100 divided by 20 which is giving us 5. Students, let's see next question here. Find the mean of first 5 whole numbers. We know that whole number starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. But here we have to only consider first 5 whole numbers. So what are the first 5 whole numbers? Let's start. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because only 5 numbers should be taken. That is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. So it only involves till 4. Ok students. The, so the first 5 whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. When we have to take mean of this, so it is sum of all the observation divided by number of observation. So 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Divided by, what is the number of observations here? That is 5 because we have taken first 5 numbers of whole numbers only. 1, uh, one, plus two is, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 6, 6 plus 4 10, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So the mean is 2 for first 5 whole numbers. Ok students, so let us see the fifth problem here. Uh, this is the uh, following table shows the points of each player scored in 4 games. So this table shows uh, three players who have played four games. Okay students? So here we have uh, player A who has played four games and scored 14, 16, 10 and 10 respectively. B has scored 0, 8, 6 and 4 respectively. C has scored 8, 11 and did not play the third game and he has scored 13 in fourth game. So what is the question? First the question is find the mean to determine A's average number of points scored 
per game. So, we have to find the mean to determine A's average. What are the A's scores here? 14, 16, 10, 9, 10. So, we know that mean is nothing but sum of all observation divided by number of observation. So, we are going to add all the observation of A. That is 14 plus 16 plus 10 plus 10. Okay? That will be divided by number of observation here is he has played 4 games and scored 4 scores. So, here this will be 14 plus 16 is 30. 30 plus 10, 40. 40 plus 10, 50. 50 divided by 4 will give us 4 ones are 4. 1 remaining over here. 4 twos are 8.5. So, here a uh, mean of A, the A player is 12.5. Okay, students, the mean of player A is 12.5. The next sub question is to find the mean of points per game for C, would you divide the total points by 3 or by 4? And they are asking why. See, we have to find the mean points per game for C. We have to uh, see how many games the player C has played. And we have to decide how many number of observations we have divided. When we take a C player, he has played game 1, game 2 and did not play game 3 and has played game 4 and scored 13. So in that case, since he has not played game 3, we are not going to consider that game 3. And only games that he has played is 1, 2 and 4. So the number of observation is 3. So solution is uh, to find the average, to find the mean points of uh, per game for C, we divide by, we divide it by 3. Because why? He did not play because he did not play. Who? Player C. Player C did not play game 3. Okay students, in that case when you have to find the B, mean of B, how many, what is the number of observation that you are going to consider? That is the third sub question. So, if we have to find, determine the mean of player B, what is the number of observation that you are going to divide? That is nothing but 4. Because he has played all the games and he has scored 0 even after he is playing the game 1. So, we are going to consider that game. So, the number of observation will be 4. So, what is the mean of B? Mean of B will be 0 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. So, the third sub question is mean of B will be equal to 0 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 divided by 4. So, 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 4, 18 by 4. So, that will be 4.5 something. So, 4.5. The mean of B is 4. And, who is the best performer over here? In this 3 players, who is the best performer? As we see, A has scored uh, more than B and C. And has also participated in all the 4 games. So, A is the best performer. A is the best performer. Ok students, let's see the next question. Students, let's see the next problem here. The rainfall in a city on 7 days of a certain week has recorded as follows. 
So uh, this is the rainfall of the uh, a city given for one week. So on Monday it is zero point zero and Tuesday it is twelve point two and Wednesday it is two point one and Thursday it is zero point zero. Friday it is twenty point five and Sunday it is five point five. Sunday it is one point zero and it is in millimeters. The rainfall is recorded in millimeters. So the first sub question that they are asking is find the range of the rainfall in the above data. So in this given data we have to find the range. Range is nothing but highest value minus lowest value. When you see the rainfall here, it is given that twelve point two, two point one, it is zero. This is twenty point five, five point five, and one. As we see, twenty point five is the highest. And one is uh, not one here. Zero is also present. It is less than one, so we should not take one. It is zero point zero. So the lowest value here is zero point zero. Twenty my twenty point five is the highest value, and zero is the lowest value. So that will give us twenty point five is the range of rainfall in the given data. The second sub question here is find the mean rainfall of the week. That is sum of all observation by number of observation. Mean is nothing but sum of all observation by number of observation. So we are going to add all the observations in this given data and divide it by the number of observation. That is nothing but one week is nothing but seven days. So the number of observation is seven. When we take the sum of these observations, we are getting forty-one point three, and the number of observations is seven. So when we divide it by seven, forty-one point three by seven will give us five point nine. Okay, students, we got the mean as five point nine here, and the third sub question asks here is on how many days was the rainfall less than the mean rainfall, and how many days the rainfall was less than the mean rainfall. Mean rainfall is Five point nine. So here, which are the days that is having less than the rainfall? Five point nine. That is Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So on five days, on five days you have rainfall less than five point nine. Okay, students, did you understand this question? Let's move on to next topic.